talk uh, to you about our fire safety, fire safety and uh, fire and safety drones. It's uh, one of our modern tools, um, especially for our fire brigade in uh, Bitterfeld. Um, short agenda, uh, I want to talk about the requirements uh, on fire and safety drones, our point of view. Yeah? And then uh, our business case in Bitterfeld, we will watch a short video. Then um, how works the cooperation with drones? What is uh, our field of application in Bitterfeld? What is the design of FD8X? And uh, the uh, device as an ethics device. Yeah? And um, last but not least, we'll make an outlook to uh, the rest of the year and uh, what are our plans for the future. Yeah. Our requirements uh, for fire and safety drones. It must be resistant to rain, fox, mist, snow, heat and wind. And if you know some devices on the market, you will see that they are not resistant to rain, for example. Yeah? Um, the video and uh, thermal vision cameras are a very big point for us. Yeah? We have to see what there is going on. And we have to see at night and we have to see a heat map, a real heat map uh, to um, yeah, see where, can, where will be a fire in the next uh, few minutes. Um, we want to detect uh, various gases and vapors yeah? and it must be uh, resistant against aggressive uh, substances like gases or, or vapors yeah? because uh, we are, well, most of our customers are in the chemical industry and uh, if there is an impact we have aggressive substances in the air and if our drone uh, is not resistant, uh, it doesn't work. We want to easy transport the drone yeah, in a normal car, if it, uh, this is our target, yeah, and uh, a long flight endurance and rapid uh, battery uh, exchange. Um, an automated flight uh, and a waypoint navigation is also one of our targets. And um, we want to be compliant with guidelines for explosive, explosion prevention, um, but this is a special subject we will talk about. So, oh, there. this is a short video about our business case. Bitterfeld is uh, the largest uh, chemical park uh, in uh, Europe. On the side, we are talking about more than 300 companies uh, like Bayer, Evonik, Axon Nobel, Ereos. So, um, quite some big players. We have about 12,000 employees. It's uh, very important to save not only the life of the employees, but also to cope with the security feelings of the region. And especially here, we are surrounded by a city, the city of Bitterfeld Wolfen. So, there's also a responsibility that we have. Yes, that was the customer case uh, Chemical Park in Bitterfeld. And um, these are actually our fields of application uh, in these customer case. So we want to make a rapid situation assessment, assessment with our drone. Yeah, we have seen the drone was flying in forward of our, of our fire engine. So we had uh, the first picture um, on a very short time. Yeah? The engine is not on, on scene, so we have the first picture. But autonomous flying is uh, another subject uh, we have to talk about. Um, we want to reduce the time for action yeah? and the eff effective uh, coordination of our rescue teams. Yeah? We want to identify hazards, yeah? um, fire sources, identification with our channel camera is one of our big points there. Yeah? The detection of uh, gases and something like this. Um, so that's our, our main point. Um, also the support of the police, yeah? if there are accidents on the, on the highway near Bitterfeld, um, our drone goes out to, with the police um, to um, investigate the, the scenery there and uh, search and rec rescue operations, uh, also is one of our, our fields there. The emergency response on the left side and on the right side the industrial inspection service. Yeah, this is one of the, well, the, second, the second part that we stand for. is gas measurement <coughs> at the chimneys or forges um, or detection of uh, pipeline leakages or something else. If there was a work at the pipeline, um, the fire brigade came um, and flying to the pipeline and say, okay, here is no leakages or something like else. You can uh, start, the, start the production now and uh, everything is safe. Yeah. Our goal is increase effectivity, effectiveness 
uh, enhanced safety and operation documentation. This is our goal with our drone. Yeah, how does it work? Uh, or the, the cooperation with drone? We have our drone <coughs> on a special um, car and a um, flight operator. Um, the data goes to our control center in the chemical park and to the commander in the fire engine. So we have uh, direct information so he can say, okay, you go there, you go there, you make search and rescue. Yeah? It's a very, very good time, I said. Yeah? And uh, the control center can give our customer first information what's on your site, what's happened, yeah? um, what do we, what can we, can we see, what uh, gas measurement uh, do we have, yeah? and um, yeah, the final is to put out the fire or um, yeah, solve the, the incident. Yeah? Uh, so th that is how it works. And um, now we come to the, some technical details. Yeah? Um, we have a very lightweight and robust carbon composite if, um, a composite construction. Um, you can see it beside in the other room. There is our mock-up. Yeah, you, um, this is the actual model, but without intelligence. Yeah, it's only only the case. Um, it is very resistant uh, for uh, rough handling. Yeah, so it, uh, you can uh, fold it and uh, stay it to the car, and you must not. Uh, you have to um, you not have to uh, take a uh, special uh, case or something. Yeah. It's uh, weatherproof, um, usable between minus 10 to 40 degree. Yeah. Up to 40 degree, there's no problem for the case or for the drone. It's a problem for the air. Yeah. We have not enough downstream with the rotor. Yeah. Um, eight direct uh, driven motors. Yeah. So we have a minimal maintenance, uh, eight coaxial and redundant uh, rotors, and the maximum speed is 70 kilometers per hour. Uh, but only straight ahead, it's not for operation, <laughs> so you have to fly a little bit uh, 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 lower. Um, yeah, the increase rate is two, up to, uh, from 2 up to 4 uh, meters per second, and uh, you have a rapid battery change, um, and with one battery pack you can fly 30 minutes. Uh, with a um, power loader and three battery packs you can uh, fly for two hours, two and a half hours, in, in, one, in one incident. Yeah. The whole drone is foldable, you can see it here. So you can uh, fold the, 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 the rotors on the back side and uh, take it to your car. Um, and it's a very modular design, so um, if, you have, if there are special requirements, if you want a special, special um, uh, functions or special modules, uh, we can adapt it to our design. And now, um, the ATEX. Um, all the basic components of our drone uh, are certified. Yeah, the motor is certified, uh, the camera is certified, and so on and so on. Um, and all materials offer the possibility to the certification. Yeah, the case and the, the, the rotor and everything else. But um, there is a very, very, very small number of, ex of application who need an ATEX certificate. This is uh, the one, the one point. Uh, the next point is uh, that the cost of the certification is very, very high. Yeah? And you have to certify every uh, drone by themselves uh, because if you change one of the, uh, of the modules, if you change the camera or an uh, other gas man measurement um, device, you have to make a new certificate for the whole system. So it's very, very um, yeah, cost intensive. And our solution is, if our customer needs an ATEX device, we can support you um, the solution. We have uh, the institutes and we have the engineers who, who can collect all the, the different devices to one certified drone. But it's a very special tailor-made solution for you. So our normal drone is not ATEX certified, is certified but is it, it is possible if you want it. And then, last but not least, a uh, quick outlook uh, from 2017 uh, to the future. Um, our next step is to create a Securitas Drone Management Portal. This is the first mock-up. So uh, our customers have uh, yeah, the, the, the 
webs website where you can see all your drones, yeah, all your different drones, um, with uh, several names and uh, several uh, modules, yeah, with an HD, HD cam, a thermal cam, or um, with something special, radiation meter. That's everything is possible. So you can see all your drones in this portal, and you can uh, go to an archive. Uh, and see the video data and gas measurement data from the last week, the last month, the last year. Um, it's um, for, our, um, uh, for our maintenance customers. They film their pipeline this week, then they make some work at the pipeline and film it in the next week, and then they can uh, watch both videos there in the portal, uh, or they can, um, uh, the, the, the uh, head of engineering is not on this side, he is in, uh, somewhere else. He can log into the, the portal and can look, um, everything is fine there. Yeah, um, and that's the next step. After our portal, we want to um, yeah, create our security, uh, security drone network. So we want to have um, a drone in every um, yeah, bigger, bigger office of of us and uh, here and here and here are uh, big um, fire brigades of us. So there will be uh, a drone um, and a pilot with an operator. And uh, if you're near these um, these destinations, you can call and uh, the drone and the operator will be there in uh, several minutes or half an hour, uh, I think. Um, and you can give them uh, uh, the, the instructions and the tasks and they will work for you. That's our one of our next steps in Germany. Yes, um, other, other um, applications could be in the, the surveillance um, for parking spaces or here it's the investigation of uh, car accidents. Yeah? Um, that is actually, we make this only in Bitterfeld, but we want to spread it out over whole Germany. Um, yeah, and that was it. And, uh, Ready for questions.